Hi, welcome to Film My Run. My name's Stephen Cousins. Here we are again at the Worthing running track. Uh, we're going to do another very exciting stride foot pod test. Uh, we're going to use track run mode on the Garmin watch. I've got two Garmin watches on today, two Phoenix 6 watches, a 6S and a 6 Pro Sapphire. And uh, I'm going to use two separate stride foot pods. One is the stride wind and one is the old stride. Both connected by Ant Plus because as I was so rightly told in the comments section of my last video uh, the, the stride team do not recommend do not want you uh, to connect via Bluetooth uh, they haven't had very good results at all connecting the stride foot pod uh, to Bluetooth through Garmin watches uh, so Garmin watches only do not connect through Bluetooth it just doesn't work nobody knows why Right, I've measured this track before. It is a certified UK athletics track. UK athletics licensed events do take place here. So we know it's 400 meters, but just because I have a new wheel, a new measuring wheel, and I do like playing with measuring wheels, <laughs> we're just gonna measure the track again. This is my new measuring wheel, look. It's a slightly bigger wheel, so the error margin will be smaller. Um, I think the error margin is about 0.5% on this particular wheel. So we're going to go around the track and make sure that it is 400 metres. We know it is, but just for fun. Each 400 metre running track should be 400 metres from about 20 centimetres inside the edge of the first lane. So let's have a look at that. So here's the first lane. Um, I reckon about 20 centimetres inside is around about here. Um, it might be a bit more, but that'll do for me. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, last time I measured, it was about the, 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 the 400 metre mark. Last time I measured was about here. Um, so we're going to go from here and see what it does. OK, we're ready to roll. Just going to set the watches going. So we'll try and keep a fairly uh, good path around the track. Hopefully we'll get a decent result. Um, we had a pretty good result at 200 meters. It was almost bang on 200 meters. So I'm pretty pleased about that. So we'll carry on to the end and hopefully we'll hit 400 dead on. Well, would you look at that? 400.3 meters. So I reckon most of the way we've been around 20 to 30 centimeters off the inside of the track uh, so and I tried to walk a pretty even line uh, so I reckon we've got a good result there I reckon we were about 20 to 30 centimeters off from the inside of the track we weren't on the middle so that's interesting that the last wheel I had um, I was measuring more in the middle of the track to get 400 meters whereas this wheel which is a little more uh, robust, a little bigger wheel um, diameter. Uh, we've got a better result, I think, um, and I've stayed pretty true as I walked around. So hopefully we're satisfied that this is a well uh, measured track. So there we are, I'm pleased with that result. Um, a larger diameter wheel uh, seems to have given us um, less margin for error and 20 to 30 centimetres from the inside of lane one, uh, we've got a good 400 metre mark, almost exactly 400 metres, so pleased with that. So the next job is to calibrate uh, the track run mode on the Garmin watches. I've done it once on this watch already, but we'll do it again a couple of times around the track, just so that the Garmin watches can map the track and know uh, where the lanes are on the track. We're only gonna stay in lane one anyway, but we may as well do it just to be sure. Uh, hello, editing Stephen, just butting in for one second. Uh, just to make it absolutely clear, uh, I'm using track mode for two reasons and two reasons only. Uh, GPS is going to draw me a lovely map around the track. Uh, track mode is great for uh, learning what the uh, track looks like and mapping it for you. So rather than having loads of squiggly lines or cut off corners uh, that GPS would normally give you, 
uh, track mode gives you a nice smooth align around your track. We're not using GPS for distance or pace, that is totally the stride foot pods that are measuring the distance. Uh, and the second reason for using track mode is it gives you meters to the meter. So you know like if you use a normal mode it will give you, it will say 10.1 kilometers. Uh, well this gives you 10,000 and, and 10 kilometers or 10,012 kilometers. So we'll know to the meter uh, what the measurement is. So that's another reason to use track mode. Also stay tuned at the end because uh, although I finish on the track, I'm gonna bring it back in here and we'll do a little bit of analysis of some numbers um, and some graphs uh, on the computer. So stay tuned for that at the end. Okay, back to me running around the track. That's one lap done, just go around one more time. There we are, that's calibration done of the two watches. So I have my, uh, this is my wife's Garmin Phoenix 6S and that's got track mode on it. And this is my Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Sapphire. Um, both with track mode on, both with stride foot pods attached. One is the stride wind attached to this watch and one is the old stride attached to this watch. Both foot pods are 100% uh, zero calibration, no calibration at all. Calibration is auto calibration is disabled, um, and they are both on always for distance and pace. So both setters always for distance and pace. Uh, so let's do 10,000 meters round the track. Let's see what distance we get at the end of that. So on my right wrist. The Phoenix 6S is ticking over a lot earlier than the Phoenix 6 Pro Sapphire. I'm sticking to 10 kilometers in one hour, according to the stride foot pod connected to my Phoenix 6 Pro. And that's the wind stride. And the old stride is connected to the Phoenix S. And like I say, that's ticking over earlier than the track markers and this one is ticking over much later than the track markers so we're checking towards the end okay we're not far away from 10k now this is the 25th lap so 10k is 25 laps of a track now the phoenix 6s is going to finish early the Phoenix 6 Pro is going to finish late. So let's just see how early and how late they finish. Fifty-eight minutes, nine thousand nine hundred and seventy. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. Ninety. There's 10,000 meters there, 58 minutes, 32 seconds. And we are, well, we'll see in a minute how far short we are. This is the old stride foot pod connected to the Phoenix 6, Phoenix 6. <laughs> and uh, that has recorded 10,000 meters a bit earlier than you might want on the track. Here we go up to the line and we are 90 meters short. <laughs> so 90 meters. So if you've got an old stride foot pod and a Phoenix 6S, you might think you've run 10,000 meters, but you're 90 meters short. <laughs> Unless you calibrate your stride, of course. Right, so let's see how far off the uh, Phoenix 6 Pro is. 59, 39, 59, 40. And here we go, there. Right, there we go. Now, how far back are we? Quite a way, aren't we? There's the 200 meter line just there. The stride wind has been given every chance to measure short because it's the left foot, so it's nearest the inner line, but it's measured long. And the old stride has been given every chance to measure long because it's nearer to the center of the lane, but in fact, it's measured short. 
Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark this spot here. I'm gonna go and get the wheel and I'm gonna measure how, fur how much further we ran than 10,000 meters. <laughs> right, final test of the day. Uh, let's just measure how long the uh, stride wind measured on my Phoenix 6 Pro. So here we are, this is where I stopped running. So we're gonna walk back along the track around where my foot was and see how short we are. Okay, there we are, 170 meters long. So the stride wind measured 170 meters longer than 10,000 meters. So that's it from what has become a pretty wet and windy morning on the Worthing track here. Uh, this is the second time I've measured the Worthing track with two different wheels and we have had slightly different results each time. Whether it was me walking around the track badly or whether it was a tolerance level and a, a margin of error level on each wheel, I don't know. Um, but the second wheel I've used, this bigger wheel, I'm. I'm liable to trust that a bit more. It has a better tolerance level according to the manual. So we either had uh, 400 meters around the track from dead center of the middle of lane one, or we had 400 meters from around about 20 to 30 centimeters inside the inner edge of lane one. Take your pick, doesn't matter whether that would add 170 meters or, or take away 90 meters off your um, watch. I don't, I don't know, depends how you run around the track, doesn't it? But you know, we can safely say the track's 400 meters and uh, the stride wind measured 170 meters long, uncalibrated, 100 calibration. And uh, the stride old foot pod uh, measured uh, 90 meters short. Uh, make of that what you will. Could be my bad walking round the track. Who knows, could be my poor running 10,000 meters round the track, but it doesn't matter in a race, 10,000 meters on the track is 25 laps of the track. So you'd stop here. You'd stop at that line. It doesn't matter what your stride foot pod says or what your watch says. It's 25 times around the track and there it is. Uh, so uh, thanks very much for watching. That is it. Any comments, uh, questions, abuse, obviously <laughs> do leave that all down below and uh, maybe I'll reply, maybe I won't. Take care. We'll see you for the next one. Bye bye. Okay, welcome to the Film My Run Shed Quarters. We're just gonna have a little look at some numbers just to try and explain this run a little more. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, speed here. So I've got both the uh, Stride foot pods, the Phoenix 6 Pro and the Phoenix 6S watches uh, showing speed here. And you can see the blue one is the Phoenix 6 Pro, which is the modern Stride Wind. And that is clearly showing slower pace throughout the run. The, the purple line is, uh, is the old stride foot pod, clearly showing a faster pace throughout the run. And you can see down here, the average speed uh, for the Phoenix 6 Pro was 10.1 kilometers an hour, which is about right, because I was running to that watch. So making sure I did 10 kilometers in one hour, according to that watch. Uh, but the uh, Phoenix 6S has a, a speed of 10.27 kilometers per hour. And you can see on the distance graph here as well, the two runs diverge more and more the further along we go. Uh, so another indication that both the strides are measuring different speeds, different distances. Now, what's interesting is uh, we, we clearly know that the stride wind made me run an extra, what did we say, 170 metres. And that might seem a lot. Uh, when, you, when you look at it in terms of actual metres, I ran 10,170 metres, uh, where I should have just run 10,000 metres. And when you look at it in track mode, it looks quite a lot. But actually, when you look at it on Strava, um, you might just throw that 170 metres away. Because let me show you, if we go to Strava, here is my 10K track run and uh, just about an hour, an elapsed time of one hour and one second. 
Uh, we've got a, a little difference there because I stopped to pick up the camera briefly on a couple of times. So most of the time I was running around the track without the camera. Occasionally I, I just stop quickly just to pick up the camera and carry on. So that's what that difference is. Now, this is 10 kilometers according to the stride wind. But if we correct the distance, so this is uh, Strava's own analysis of the track, analysis of the GPS track around uh, the Worthing track, it will recalibrate the distance and tell me what it thinks I ran. So let's press that button and say correct distance. I wonder what it'll come up with. Let's see. I have to wait a couple of minutes for it to do its calculations. Oh, look at that. 10.1x. So this is saying I've run an extra 180 or so meters. We haven't got the extra digit there, have we? So it could be 180, 180, could be 189. Um, but according to Strava, we've run an extra 180 meters of distance. But if you saw that in your, res in your race results, if you saw 10.18, you would discard that 1.8 as, as a meaningless extra bit of uh, data, wouldn't you? Or you, you might do anyway. But it's, so it's interesting to see it in track mode because it, 180 metres or 170 metres uh, really makes you think, gosh, yes, I did run quite a bit of extra distance there. Uh, so anyway, there we are. So that's my analysis. I'll just change it back because I wanted to say 10k. I don't care. I don't care that I ran that extra distance. Uh, but that just shows you, doesn't it? Uh, so there we are. Um, again, like I said earlier, take from it what you will. Um, it may mean that you want to calibrate your stride wind or your old stride foot pod. Um, it may not. You may be quite happy with that. Um, stride may say that uh, that extra distance or that under uh, distance is within an acceptable margin of error. And do you know what? It's not that bad, is it, really, when you look at it? Okay, take care. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.